Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you'd like to know more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below. And there you will find a link to my Ravelry page where you will find pictures of all of the patterns I've designed that you can get to knit up for yourself. Also in the description below, you will find a link to the Watch Barbara Knit's Facebook group, We'd love to have you come over and join so that we can continue the conversations that we start here on the YouTube channel. Today, I have a look at some stuff for knitters, things that you might like. Um, if you watched an earlier video where I did the Ask Me Anything and I did a little bit of an unboxing, you saw me open the package from Knitter's Pride. I want to be right up front because there's been discussion about this in uh, the Fibro Circle of making it clear that Knitter's Pride sent me these products uh, gratis for me to check out, but I am not being compensated. Other than getting the product, they're not paying me to do this. I'm letting you guys know what I think of these products um, because I love new stuff. <laughs> And I think maybe you do too, and you might have been wondering about it. So the first thing we have is this Knitter's Pride Ginger Interchangeable Deluxe Set. And the ginger is the color of the needle itself. Uh, an interchangeable um, set means that you've got a bunch of tips and a bunch of cables that so that you can like make your own whichever needle you want to use. I have been knitting with this. It's taken a little bit to get this video up because I like to work with them and so I can give y'all my honest opinion on how they work. Again, here is the little uh, info packaging thing that it came in um, specifically. And this is funny because I tell you one thing right off the bat, I was like, this is leather. I have never seen an interchangeable in uh, leather, but it's not leather. According to this, it's vegan leather. Now, I have no idea what vegan leather is made out of. You know, it, it makes me tempted to be like the whole when you say it's a um, Girl Scout cookies. Are they made out of real Girl Scouts? Is it made out of real vegans? But that's a poor taste. Sorry. Um, it's obviously not made of actual leather, but I mean, it smells almost like leather and it feels like leather, so it's fake leather, but super nice. And I would think that would mean it would be a lot more durable than some of the things. Um, what else does it says? It says the they're laminated wood needles, and they say that's eco-friendly. So I guess that's instead of having to like chop down hardwood trees and like chop down big trees and get like big chunks of it, they laminate multiple letters. And also everything I've read about the laminated woods is that that's stronger. Um, laser imprinted sizes on needles and that is a really plus. I'll show you that later. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm sick of reading this. Okay, <laughs> this is what it looks like. Um, at first I was like, what are these little wooden things on the side for but then i figured out that it's so when you open it up and you flip it around and this is something so you've got these little these little jobbies here these little leather jobbies well fake leather jobbies you hook them on and it makes it stand up see because this is magnetic which is super cool and it's one of these things where you put um, your pattern on here and this is the magnetic marker thing that helps you follow so you can put your pattern your pander stands up and so you've got the long strappies and then you've got these little short strappies which I'm not real sure <laughs> sorry I saw myself in the camera and I'm like that's the ludicrous face that you're making so if you put the short strappies on what happens um i guess it stands up different i don't know but it kept it closed well that's kind of cool actually let's see can i put all the straps on dun, dun, dun. there we go all the straps on 
<laughs> oh, that's cool. So what that does is that holds that, the short straps hold this up so that it's not all out there flapping in the wind. So that makes total sense. Had to work through it with y'all. <laughs> I don't immediately know. Let's undo this and let's look at the needles themselves. So one really significant thing about this set and their claim is that it has um, largest range of needles and accessories. And honestly, they're right. I have never seen a full range of needles like you see here, because they go all the way from threes, tiny, tiny, up to 17. Um, usually when you get interchangeable sets like this, they're broken up into two different sections, the smaller and the larger ones. And that's because of the wires. I don't know how they overcame that here, but it definitely is the most tips I've ever seen in an interchangeable set. Um, the tips specifically, if you look at them, they're not super, super pointy. They're not gonna have a point like metal, but they have really good points for a wooden needle. Uh, wooden needles tend to be more grabby, but since these are the laminated and they're slicker, they're not like crazy grabby. So it's like a nice medium. Now we've got this little flappy guy here, also known as a pocket, but you can call them flappy guys. And that is where, it's gonna sit on my shoulder like a parrot. They keep the extra cables, and then you've got the little stoppery guys, which this is one of the real benefits of an interchangeable set. You can be working on something and decide you want to work on something else. You can just take the tips off and you screw these little stopper guys on either side, and then your project stays on that cable and you can go do something else. Now, I would advise that you maybe make a little tag and attach to the uh, project what size needle you were working with. I mean, I've never like completely done that and forgotten what I was using, but you can use that needle for another set. So it's got those little guys in there and there's, um, let's go back to my sheet. There's three different lengths. There's a total of six cords to each of 24 inch, 32 inch and 40 inch. So there's that 12 end caps, six cord keys. The cord keys are very important. So when you, I'm gonna use one of the big mumbo jumbo ones. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> Cause it's not on that, it's on this end. So when you, okay, parrot's going by. When you screw these on, hello, there you go. They've got these little holes in them and they have a key, which looks like, and there's one in every single one of these little things, which having bunches of these is a good plan because they're tiny and they run away. Um, you've got, look at, I'm showing it. I'm showing it to myself, I could see it. You've got these little keys and the little metal key goes through the hole and it gives you leverage so that you can tighten it. And that's how they don't unscrew when you're knitting. So that is a very helpful thing. So that is the key. Um, you got the end caps, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so the sizes are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten and a half, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, 13, 15, and 17. And these are five inches in length. Oh, what you might want to, now five inches in length, what we're talking about there is the length of the actual tip. These are five inches long. Now they also make them in shorter tips, I believe four inches. And why you would want a short one versus a long one is if you do more small circumference things, sometimes people like the shorter tips, like for socks and mitts or sleeves, um, because it allows you to get a tighter circle. I personally magic loop everything and I hold my needles like this. <laughs> It is not the most elegant thing, but it's how I knit. So I like the longer needles because it gives me more to grab onto. Um, let me stick that back in there. <sighs> Unique things about this set I, that I really liked is these cables. I like the color. I know it seems ridiculous, but I really like this brown and that the metal ferrules are not silver. 
they're not shiny. They're this kind of beautiful brass. And I think it gives these needles a completely different look than anything I've ever seen. And it, they, they just look super classy. I mean, something about bronze or brass, it just screams classy to me. I'm putting these away so I don't lose things. That's one of the things about having this. So here, let me show you. So here's a set that's put together, right? And I just think they look super classy. And also one of the things they talked about is each tip has laser etched onto the uh, ferrule. This, that's the metal part that attaches the wood to the screw part has the size on it. So you can't, you don't have, you don't lose what the size is. And I also really like these because the metal is dark, because it's this darker color, it's light and you can read them really easy. So this is one of the things I just, I wanted to see how the cable worked. And the best way to see how flexible it is, is to do magic loop. And then I decided to get really crazy with the cheese whiz. And I put the connector. So if, the 40 inches in it isn't long enough or you have um, you need a little bit more length they have these little connectors and see this metal is the color that things normally are where you can attach the two cables together to give you more length and there's two connectors in there so you could make a really really long cable if you're knitting something like a blanket that's enormous but i did this tiny little bit just to see how that worked and it worked fine now you got to remember that this is bigger around. This is almost, so I took, I used my um, doo -doo, handy dandy um, gauge majigger thing. Let me see if I can find, so here, no, rah. Okay, I dug through the whole thing and I had known I'd wanted to show this to y'all. So I had taken it out and set it aside like when you know you put something place some place something someplace really safe so you'll not lose it and then you completely forgot where you put it so here is the little cable connector and I wanted to show you that what I did is I wanted to see and it goes down to size three so this is the same distance around as the smallest needle because if I try to put it in two and a half it if I try to put it in it's really tight in two and a half i wouldn't do that so it definitely fits in the three it will fit in the two and a half but you know and obviously it's got plenty of space in the 17. <laughs> but i will put these back away and i got all these out too <laughs> so those are the connectors so in general oh i knit as I showed you with this and the they worked fine they are right out of the container they don't curl horribly which that is one thing that drives me nuts when it stays in that curly curly curliness um, they're not bad so and of course the more you work with them the more flexible they'll get but they're fine um, I worked on this really soft cashmere yarn I have because that's one thing where you like having grabby. It doesn't need to slide as much. I also worked with the big needles. I worked, I think, with a 13 or a 15. I was uh, knitting up some proposals for a magazine and I did some bulky and I'm, I knit, I don't want to show you all because you can't really see it, but I knit some, uh, I knit some big old stuff and the big ones work just fine. Um, so, it, it does work the whole range. So if you are looking for an interchangeable set and you're specifically, you're looking for wooden, I think that this is a really good investment because it does have a substantially larger, it has more needles than most of them you're gonna get. I'm gonna stuff all these guys back down in here. And there's one of those. I dug them all out when I was looking for, stick him down in here and then yeah, so it's got some place you store stuff. Snap that shut. All right? Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's a pen! Never seen a pen. That's super cool. Oh, the other thing I did is I also have a set of Knitter's Pride Zings that, you know, I bought myself because I love them. And I tried the cables off this 
which they're these multicolor cables. And I tried these cables and they worked on that, the other set just fine. So it's pretty much works, at least I know with the Zings, which implies to me also that it might work with some of the others Knitter's Pride. So you could extend how many cables you have and those kind of things with the, um, if you have multiple Knitter's Pride sets. Oh, it also came with, I gotta make sure, I have a little bit of a mess. Yes, it came with these stitch markers, which if you listen, they're metal, which you're like, hmm, metal stitch markers, which leads me to the second thing that I received from Knitter's Pride, which you might have been looking at on my neck. Isn't it lovely? Lovely, lovely, lovely. It is the Knitter's Pride Magnetic Knitter's Necklace Kit. Those are a whole lot of words to say, and it might be like, what in the world? It came in this cool little uh, packet, but I have dismantled it so that I could play with it. And I have it set on really short so that it would be in camera so y'all could see what I was doing. It is pretty, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna stand up. Isn't it pretty? And it is a disc that is magnetic. Which you're like, why would you have a magnetic thing? Well, I don't know about y'all, but frequently when I'm knitting, I have stitch markers in my mouth, and especially if you do cables, you need your cable needles, and where are you gonna stick them, and how are you gonna do them? And so this came in this box. It's got instructions, and it came with this pouch. And in the pouch, are cable needles and stitch markers, which might look a little familiar. <laughs> okay, put those back there, because that's where they belong. Let me see what else, did I miss anything? Nope. And what the cool thing is, is these are all metal, and they stick. <laughs> Isn't that hysterical? They stick. So if you're knitting long, now obviously you probably aren't gonna have it all the way up like here, you might have it further down, but as you're knitting long, you knit, 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 you got your cable, you take off your cable needle, you do your cable, you stick it back on. Personally, this is my preference. I like the J-shaped ones. I find them because I hook them on and let them hang off the front or the back, but look, they all, they stick. <laughs> I'm like, this is fabulous. Brilliant, brilliant idea. Um, so we've got the cable needles, which go in loops better than they were, they were secured better <laughs> when I got them. But what you do is I'm just gonna take them out because this is just packaging, but it's nice packaging. I like that pattern. I might use that as a bookmark. But so you put those in here. See that? That is exactly what the necklace would have prevented. See, if it was just here, not dropping on the ground at all. But also, not just those, but you've got the little stitch markers, which come in this cute little plastic case, which I will not be taking them out of, but the stitch markers. It's like, sometimes you have to remove or add or stitch markers, and they stick. And they stick to both sides. So it's not like one side uh, attracts and one side repels. It's both. So you can stick all these little guys and there's little square ones and little circle ones. And so of course, after I got this out, um, I madly spent the next 15 minutes rolling around my uh, hot mess over here and trying to find things that I could stick to this because like, ah, that's funny. So I have my um, darning needle, totally sticks. So if you're weaving it ends, you can just stick it up there. Now, the silver ones stick. Obviously, the plastic ones, not so much with the sticking. And I did find that this is obviously made of some kind of non-magnetic material because these gold ones don't stick. But the things that are of magnetic material, I also found that um, I have other stitch markers that stick like this, sticks. And then I was messing around and I keep these plastic stitch markers on a bobby pin, not a bobby pin, this is a bobby pin. No, Barbara, this is not a bobby pin, a safety pin. And I realized that sticks. 
So if you have things that you want to stick to it, but they're not, um, you know, magnetic, you've got these. And so that worked really well. It got this nice big safety pin and it sticks and it holds it on. And then I realized that I do that a lot. I have lots of dangly things that are attached and you just stick it on. So that's a way to hold multiple of them. So that is, I mean, it's a fairly straightforward idea. That's like, why, why hasn't someone thought of this before? Now I have it cranked up really short and these things are slidey. So I will slide it in so you can adjust it to make it however long you want, or you could just completely change it because it's got these little slidey guys. You know, it's got the double knot action where you slide like that, right? And you can change, but it takes a little futzing. I just hit my mic. I hope that didn't sound bad, but look, so this is what it looks like. And it's super pretty. Now the color I got Where's the box? <sighs> you guys should see my desk. <laughs> the color I got, this is cherry berry, which makes me think of the great British Bake Off. <laughs> but this is cherry berry. I believe it comes in other colors. I will uh, put a link in the description below to all of this stuff so you can find it yourself. I really like the packaging this came in. Isn't that beautiful? It's got all these cool, I'm a sucker for packaging. Um, but it says, stop losing your cable knitters and I would add, or your uh, yarn needle or <laughs> your stitch markers. It's great. So what I have gone over for you to take a look at is the magnetic necklace kit and the ginger deluxe interchangeables. Um, I really like these products. Uh, hopefully by doing these videos, it gives y'all a chance to take a look at them a little bit closer and make decisions on your own if this is a product that you would like. Um, oh, and I want to show you this. Your purchase of our ginger needle sets helps bring a smile and a job to 350 plus female artisans in our factory in Rajasthan, India, an area with more than 2000 years of arts and crafts history. We're also proud to share that our policy is to never refuse a job or a smile to a woman looking for work. After all, we believe that through knitting, we can make the world a better place. Needles made from ethical wood sourced from sustainable forests. So if you're concerned about those kind of things, they have spelled it out and given you all the information you need. Okay, this has gotten a little long. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified whenever I upload new videos, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. And remember, all the information on these products is in the description below. Thank you so much.